We're about to leave the house for the last time. And move into this full time. First stop, Winslow, Arizona. Here we go. Here we are. Our first adventure, season one, and we are heading east. But first, Arizona. We're heading to south of Phoenix. We're gonna go meet up with our friends Lacey and Derek. They did our solar install, and they're gonna do a couple of upgrades and changes to the rig. And then we are heading to uh, further into Arizona, and then we're going to New Mexico, and Tennessee, and Arkansas, and Texas, and all of the places before you get to North Carolina. I forgot the route, but we're gonna post our route and we'll let you know where we're heading. Derek found an incredible site for us in the Ironwood Forest National Monument on BLM land. And as you can see, it was the middle of nowhere. Leaving our friends wasn't easy, but we needed to get on the road. And what a road it was, up to seven and a half thousand feet and snow. We arrived at Homolovi State Park around sunset and headed into Winslow to take photos. Route 66 runs directly through Winslow, and it used to look like this. Focus our eyes on the journey, stepping into the unknown, waving goodbye to our worry, so we run wild and free. Did you know that Winslow has a 9-11 memorial? These two steel beams were once part of the World Trade Center towers. It was an emotional visit, especially at sunset. We are here in downtown Winslow, Arizona, and we're about to go into the La Posada Hotel. This isn't just a hotel, it's also a train station, and you can come here on the train. Here's an adventure, here's a change. It might take a minute, but you'll be a okay. Here's a sky for the pie, and everything is possible. This hotel was built in 1930 and designed by architect Mary Jane Coulter. He also was the chief designer of the Harvey House. Have you ever seen something so The library in the hotel was set up for a macabre New Year's Eve party. I really enjoyed the art exhibit and the works of Tina Moyne. Carrie Azor was by far my favourite piece. 
You can head over to our website and visit the gallery to view more of the artwork that was on display in the hotel. Here's an invitation, let's take a step. It might be improv, but it's excellent. Take a breath and you'll see there's no better place to be. The hotel is also host to a museum where you can learn not only about the Santa Fe Railroad and, and Harvey Houses, but also the historic airport, which Charles Lindbergh chose as one of the 12 fuel stops for the nation's first cross-country passenger service. If you'd like to learn more about our first week living full-time on the road, head over to the website and check out the blog. Our next stop was the Meteor Crater, just 25 miles outside of Winslow. The world is yours. I just saw a sign for the speed limit. What did it say, Kev? It said cars 50 miles per hour, meteors 25,000 miles per hour. <laughs> This was far more modern than we were expecting and had great exhibitions. They even had a pet ramada for the dogs and plenty of RV parking. Here we are at the Meteor Crater. What a great place. The Meteor Crater was one of the first proven craters that were made by a meteor. Come along with us as we go to the crater. The impact site is nearly one mile across and over three miles in circumference and over 550 feet deep. That's large enough to engulf a 60-story building or to accommodate 20 football fields on the crater floor. This is where NASA practiced the moon landings. We're going to the top up here, to the rim, and we're gonna catch some wind and get some more views. So here we are on the first observation deck. This place is amazing. They have all of these telescopes here. That's right. This is the first place that they discovered that a crater was made by a meteor. And these are the drill holes down here. You can look at them where they dug down and found bits of the meteor. There are many plaques commemorating the people who investigated this site, but no one worked harder than Daniel Barringer, who eventually proved that this is a media impact site. We are currently at the lower observation deck where you can feel like you are pretty much inside the crater. You cannot go down into the crater. There are no tours. There is no way to get down there, but there is certainly a road. If you have watched the movie Starman, which we'll put a link to, this is where he finally went home. This was a fascinating tourist attraction and the tours probably gave way more information. Our final stop was one of the four Opie Ruins sites at our camp. Sadly, the high winds made it impossible to record. The ruins are small, but well worth a visit. We hope you've enjoyed our tour of Winslow and the surrounding area and that we've proved it's more than just Route 66 and standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Join us next week 
when we are just 50 miles away at the Petrified Forest National Park. Until then, we'll see you on the trail.